All right, a lot of people have been asking about how to install and run Ultima Outlands on Linux, and I've been running it on several Linux machines for four to five months now. So I thought I would share an easy guide of how to do this from scratch. Four simple steps. First one is to make sure that your wine is at least version 6.14 plus, which right now that's wine HQ staging, the staging version. Then you just need to install .NET. I use 5.0.7, it works fine, .NET Core. And then step three is to download and run the Outlands launcher. And then step four, most people will have to do a quick fix for the graphics driver. And then finally, this would be the command uh, to launch Outlands. So we'll do the demo here. So first thing, step one, you can follow this guide on the Wine HQ wiki. This will tell you how to install and update Wine for your particular version of Linux. I'm using Ubuntu. I think a lot of people use a Ubuntu or a derivative. Uh, just be sure to run each of these commands, uh, th you know, like the first one here, adding the repository key, um, adding the repository, and then installing the HQ staging version here. So once you've done that, you should be able to type wine version. And as long as you see at least 6.14 staging, you should be good to go. Um, this is the machine that I'm demoing on. It's running KDE Neon, which is a Ubuntu derivative. Uh, 20.04, and it's an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070. And also if I do LSB release here, you can see it's a 20.04 codename Focal. So for the Wine HQ, I did this one. I added this repository. Okay. So once you have your Wine version working properly like this, you will just need to make a directory to install um, Outlands and Wine, so I'll just call it Ultima. So I'll be in the Ultima directory for my working directory. And then follow the steps. Uh, so the first thing is to get uh, the .NET Core desktop runtime. And so you can Google around and find that on Microsoft. This is what the page would look like when, it, when you get to the download for the desktop runtime installer. Um, and then you have a link here to download it manually or a direct link that you can copy. So if I get this direct link, uh, which is the one I noted here, in Linux, you can just use wget. So wget Let's see if that works. Nope. wget, there we go. Okay, so now I have the uh, installer and then I am going to install that executable that I downloaded. And I would need to use the wine prefix. Anytime you run a command for this, you want to use the wine prefix of whatever directory you created in this example. For this install, I'm using um, home Ultima. So with my environment prefix of home mat Ultima, wine, and then run this executable. And you'll see a pop up like this as it's going. Make sure you are using a fresh, new, empty directory for this, so you're not overlapping with any other Wine installations. Install. Close. OK. So then the next step would be very similar. We're going to get the Outlands installer. And then we are going to run the Outlands installer with the same Wine environment prefix. And I'm going to click OK to install Ultima Outlands. An update is available, yes. Now it's going to take a while to download Outlands, so we will speed up the video. Okay, now that the client's installed, let's click play now. And you will likely get this error about cannot find a suitable graphics device. And then you might get a pop-up like this, which is fine, it's expected. Um, so going back to the guide here, what we want to do is we want to edit the Ultima Online Outlines Classic UO settings.json. 
So I'm going to copy this here. And I'm going to enter anywhere in here a new option of force driver 1, like this. Now, I've also heard force driver 2 works. So if uh, 1 doesn't work, try 2 and see what happens. And I'm going to quit, save and quit. Now let's see what happens if I click play now. I almost forgot to mention that uh, somewhere along the way between step 3 and maybe step 4, if you get a prompt to install mono, go ahead and click yes and accept it. Um, that should be a one-time thing for your installation of Wine. Um, it didn't pop up for me because I've already used Wine in the past, but if you get something that comes up like this that says Wine Mono Installer, go ahead and click Install and accept it. You need that for Outlands to work. Now let's see what happens if I click Play Now. Okay, so you can see I have the Ultima client, but I also have an issue here with Razor where Razor's not loading properly, and I've seen this before. Normally what they say is if you quit and then reload, whoops, okay, I'm going to rerun. So I have a command here. This is the command that you should be using from now on to run your game. So it's your wine prefix of the directory you installed in. And then wine windows command start slash unix your the folder where the wine is yada 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 outlands exe so i'm getting some wine login in the background so clearing that okay so i'm going to run outlands again and what is coming out is these processes uh, may cause patching issues terminating these i want to terminate the old classic uo yes that was the bugged razor that i terminated now let's try again. So quite often Razor fails like that on the first try. And sure enough, now we have Razor and we have Outlands. And it should work just like any other, any other uh, client. And here we go. You can see the client and the world, oops, the world map. Before the world map uh, wouldn't work, it's because the version of Wine that I used was too old. It was st Wine Stable instead of Wine Staging. So that's why we make sure to use Wine Staging. But I, the audio, the sound, the music, everything is, is working fine. So that's how you can install Outlands on Wine on Linux. And just remember to use this command uh, to launch your Outlands. And it, it may have created a desktop icon, I don't know, it, you might find a better way.